Hi guys, it's Madison and I'm in the island country of Cyprus. Today I'm learning from an archaeologist at the Cyprus Museum. So here at the Cyprus Museum, I'm an archaeologist. So part of my job is to excavate. Next, she showed me some of the tools that archaeologists use to do their job. In order to excavate properly, we need our tools, the archaeologist tools. So here I've brought you a sample of our small tools because we've also got, we've got big tools in order to remove hard rocks and lots of earth. But when you reach the archaeological layers, you have smaller tools. So we have our pickaxe, which is always used horizontally, not like this when you're finding stuff, so then, because then you're going to just crash a vessel open. Uh, you, we have our very, very basic little uh, sweeping things for floors. When you're finding low, large surfaces, we use these ones. Um, but then when you find fragile things, we use our more fragile, our, our soft brushes. Look at all these fun instruments. We have other smaller tools for scraping surfaces away in order to reveal an object. So it could be a pottery vessel, it could be some pieces of glass. But then we use little dentistry tools in order to scratch maybe stone that is in the, in the way, uh, but not bone or fragile materials because this is metal, it will scrape it, it will destroy it. Then we have our measuring tapes. We have this arrow. What, would, what could this do? It shows where the direction. direction is, where north is. So we always use it to, to show north. Um, and we have, oh, we also use little kebab sticks. Simple, simple tools. But because they're wood, when you're digging bones and you need to be careful, uh, that the wood doesn't really destroy the bones, so it doesn't scrape them like metal does. So we use little kebab sticks, we, we use a load of them in a tube that has many skeletons. I just wanted to get to work beside her. Yeah, uh, so these are, then we have measuring tapes in order to measure, so oh yes, and so part of our work is also to make some uh, drawings of where the skeleton is and where the finds are, so I need measuring tapes. Um, so normally when we are digging, we either dig settlements, buildings, or tombs. Each artifact is a precious treasure to the nation of Cyprus. Essential in our digging activities are these little plastic bags. Can you guess what we use them for? To put stuff in? Yeah, what stuff would I put in here? Like little things. Little things, like, like what? Like, uh, Yes, so these little ones are fine bags, small fine bags, and these white lines are there for us to write. Uh, so we write the place we found it, the exact location, the, and the number of the object, yeah, and the dates normally. They have to be catalogued and preserved for the future. Um, and these go to the conservators, and they will immediately open them and remove the object and conserve it. Yeah, these are just for the excavation time. How interesting! Normally we use these when we want to take a soil sample. So we find it normally packed with soil uh, because of the rain and everything. But then we take soil samples so that then the experts, the seed experts, will sieve them in a special way and see whether they have any seeds inside. So what do can seeds tell us about people? What, plants in or grown? Yes, so they, it can tell us whether they ate figs or grapes or if they made bread out of wheat or barley. So in my recent excavation we found some pieces of wheat inside them in the soil samples. Yeah? So that's what we use these bags for. Oh. I learned so much today about archaeology at the Cypress Museum. So kids, what do you think? Would you like to be an archaeologist? See you next time on Adventure Family Journal.